Do, do, do. Ooh, I like this music. All right, before we jump in, I want to say uh, thank you to the devs and Dead Good Media for sponsoring today's uh, stream. This is Fabular, Once Upon a Space Time. It's in early access right now on Steam, the Epic Game Store, uh, GOG, and the Humble Store. Okay, yeah, this is an, an action roguelite set in a sci-fi infused version of the Middle Ages, where you're charged with a dangerous quest to save the kingdom as the last remaining royal and their apparent to the, uh, heir apparent to the throne. Okay, we're gonna battle space knights in a top-down physics-based action combat. And there's two distinct classes, the defensive-minded paladin and the stampy manticore, which I probably have to be the manticore because that's one of my favorite, uh, like, D&D medieval creatures. There's a third class that's gonna be added as early access continues. And it's inspired by beloved games such as Hammer Fight, FTL Faster Than Light, Sunless Sea, and Space Pirates and Zombies. And there's a campaign mode and a survival mode. All right, cool. So yeah, gang, hashtag game gets you the tracking link for this uh, sponsored stream. Hit it up, wish list it if it looks like something that you're interested in. And if you're gonna snag it today, buy it from the link and then let us know. Then let us know. Wow. I like this music. All right. Play Journey, play Survival. So Journey is going to be the campaign mode. And you could fight through three out of the five realms right now in early access. Okay. Have I ever tried Sunless Sea? I have not. I have not. Nope. Nope. It's Fabular. What's going on? Did you hear the, the greatest praise I ever received on the stream this morning? No, from Bowser? Bowser is giving up her chance to have free pizza tomorrow to be here for the Bogathon. Oh, stop it. That's the highest praise you can get. That's a pretty, that's pretty big. I'm not right? gonna lie. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I'm ready to start. I want to see. Play Journey. Training Lesson. The Royal Training Grounds. Maybe you'll get some mozzarella sticks to make up for it. Praise the mozz. All right, Sir Lombardo. Good morning, young majesty. You're quite early today. Itching to get your daily dose of training? Uh, father may call at me at any time. You know, I want to be ready. Oh, every lizard under every rock in the kingdom knows how much you want to go after the Void Lords, young one. But your father has his reasons for not letting you go. This old gecko here, for example, would like nothing more than to go himself. But his king ordered him to stay put, guard the castle, while keeping an eye out on the last remaining heir to the throne. Speaking of whom, are you ready for today's lesson? Let's get to it. What's on the agenda? Or do you still believe I shall not go? Do you not believe in me, master? Let's do that. Oh, on the contrary, your majesty. You're more resilient than an oak, and your mind soars quicker than an eagle. I have no doubt your talent, but half the kingdom is gone now. Many brave souls ventured forth, yet none of them has returned. Not even your big brothers. Are you sure it is wisest choice for you to leave on a perilous quest right now? You are the future of our kingdom, after all. I'm getting Zazu from Lion King vibes. Uh, if I don't go, in, the kingdom might not have a future at all. It's the only choice, and my father knows it. Oh, every lizard under every rock in the kingdom knows how much you want to... Oh, we said that already. Uh, let's get to it. What's on the agenda? Well, you've been practicing seven days a week for the last seven weeks. You're not likely to get any sharper than this, but as the saying goes, repetition breeds expertise. So how about we go through the basics again? And before you ask, yes, we can spar at the end of it if you do well during the exercise. One does not simply walk into 64. That's true. Honey Bee, thank you for the 64. Hope you're doing awesome. That's many much months. All right, very well then. This time I'll beat you. Let's do it. Follow me to the training, little master. All right, 
Press uh, left click to travel to the selected node. Each jump on the star map costs moon chill. Okay, I have one moon chill. Let's go. Travel. Boop. Here we are, young majesty. Show me what you can do. Let's train. And by train, I mean fight. All right. How does this work? Go ahead, little master. Warm up your engines and test your flight controls. Oh, God. I'm going to crash into everything. All right. WASD movement. I want, Does this have controller support, too? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Flight controls nominal. Let's test. Ah, okay. Don't crash into that. Where's the front of my ship? There we go. Okay, left click for quick attacks. Oh, he has melee combat in space? What? <laughs> I love it. Heavy blows is hold down left click. Okay. That's funny as hell. I was not expecting this kind of combat. Okay. Well done, young majesty. Now show me how to land a perfect strike. All right. Hold left click and release when the cockpit flashes. Perfect strike. That's not a perfect strike. There we go. Ah, hold on. Hold on. I'm going I'm to get there. I'm coming there. I'm coming back. Wait. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Wait, is there a way to, um, to switch the, uh, up and down? I wonder if there's a way to invert. Movement absolute relative. Okay. Let's try that. That's probably what I'm, that's probably what I'm struggling with. Yes. 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 <laughs> I, I need that 100%. My brain cannot do the other way. <laughs> so if you do get this and you uh, <laughs> start floating off into the space, change that and it'll immediately become intuitive. All right. How do I get this? Release when it flashes. I am releasing when it flashes. Try to do it as soon as it flashes. All right, as soon as it flashes. Can't delay at all. There we go. Okay. Woo! We did it! Nicely done. Now you want to use the blaster gadget. Fill up your gauge. Okay, pick up orbs. Defeat the opponent with melee attacks and gain the energy orb. Okay. Uh. Uh. I got it. All right, so I have an energy orb on the top left. So let's pick up another one. This game looks like it's going to be chaos. It's going to be amazing chaos. Yes. No, I, seriously, I was flo I, I would I could not control it with the other uh, configuration. This is much better. <laughs> okay. Time to unleash your ranged attacks, little majesty. Okay, should tell me how. Right trigger. All right, so right mouse button. Boop. Oh, that is pretty awesome. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You just bought Fabular with my link on Steam? Thank you so much, Sparkwood. That's amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Oh, what is this? Time to guard yourself. But remember that if your shield loses all hit points, you'll be gone for the rest of the, uh it will be gone for the rest of the battle, okay? Perfect timing negates all damage. 
Nice. Okay. Thanks, Mark. And if anybody else buys this game, just let us know casually in chat. We're keeping a little tally there for the for the devs that sponsored. Uh, Edot says, was relative continually rotating in that direction while absolute goes the way you want? So, so W, so the way I want it now, W always propels me the way I'm facing and S always propels me away from the way that my, I'm facing. The other mode, W was always like a certain direct, it was always like up, up and S was always down. It was really messing with me if I was facing the, the other way, you know? I couldn't do that. <laughs> uh, okay. So far, so good, Young Majesty. Let's continue with today's training. Follow me on the star map. Okay, here we go. Next one. Watch out, young one. Your vessel is overheating. You should know better than traveling without moon chill. The solar core causes considerable damage to your ship if not cooled properly. Fortunately, all shops run a teleportation beacon so you can travel to them at no cost. I suggest you teleport to one immediately and spend some stardust. Meet me at the node after you have enough coolant to continue. All right, my bad. I'm going to go buy some moon chill. All right, so how do I get the solar core? All right, fortunately, all shops... So you can travel to them at no cost. Ah, oh, a teleportation beacon for the shop. Activate the minimap and teleport to the shop nearby. Ah. Whoop. Visit the vendor. I believe you're looking for moon chill. Yeah. Yeah, I am. How'd you know? All right, so you can get armor plates. Moon chill. Servo mat consumes a kind of gesture. Thank you so much. Thanks for the humble store purchase, gang. Who was that? Humble store purchase made for thirteen dollars and forty nine cents. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. And um, Andrew's game has great explanation about that kind of movement in space. Uh, Akron says Steam Spage says controller support. I'm happy about that. I got some geometry war vibes in the ship. I'll try again with my controller. Maybe I just have to unplug it and plug it back in. We'll see. It is early access, though, so if it's not immediately in the game, it's a possibility. All right, I'm going to buy a moon chill. Stores one of your lost armors. I guess I'll buy two of them. Consume restores 25% um, of your current armor. Let's do this. All right, I spent all my money. Sweet. Oh, that was you buying the game again? Sparkwood, thank you so much. You bought an extra copy? Thank you. All right, come on, let's head home. I thought he wanted me to go over here. All right. Hot, your money or your life. What's going on? What? Bandits here? So close to the palace? How dare you? Step aside, young one. Let me teach these scoundrels a lesson. No, Lombardo. It's my time I prove myself. Consider this my graduation. Yeah, good thing I have no money. <laughs> That's a good point. Whoa there, young blade. You still lack the experience of real starfight, but the proof is in the pudding. Is What? The proof of the pudding is in the eating, as they say, so maybe it is time to test yourself. All right, I will step aside, but I'm going to keep an eye on you from a distance. I admire your courage, little one. But don't be reckless and remember your training well. I feel like we skipped, like, all those other nodes. I shall best them, Sir Lombardo. Don't you worry. Weapons are... Okay. Heart racing, here I come. Prepare for combat. Woo, you missed. Oh man, somebody else bought a copy. Thank you so much. Humble store purchase made for $13.49. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Oh, I got a energy. Yes. 
ba ba. You again, Sparkwood? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we got loot. Moon chill. Cools sun core after interstellar. Okay, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a moon chill, and then we got eight monies. Take all. All taken. Nice. I can honestly say, I don't think I've had combat quite like this before. It's like asteroids, but <laughs> with blocking heavy attacks, range combat, melee combat. It's pretty interesting. Edwin, are you all right? Whoa. Have you seen that, Lombardo? They went supernova. I'm victorious. There. Ooh, huh. Aster swords. Oh, I like that. Could have been like, that could have been the name of it. Very well done, Little Majesty. I'm proud of you, but there's no time to celebrate right now. While you were sparring, I received a call from the royal palace that your kingly father wishes to speak with you personally. Could it be the call I've been hoping for? Well, there's only one way to find out. Please gather your equipment and your thoughts as well. If I may suggest, return to the palace immediately. I'll go. All right, fine. The Orbital Palace. Oh, it's beautiful pixel art. Oh, this is me right here. I'm the bard. The Jesta. Hey, Red, what's going on? One sec. I've got wires everywhere. Here we go. Lord Chamberlain. Receive advice. I bid you welcome, Royal Highness, on the threshold of the adventure of your life. Um, how is my father, Your Grace? He is king. The realm suffers, and the only thing he can do about it is the one he wants the most to avoid. How well would you be in his place? He spends much of his time in the flow for a man of his age. He would not even ride it properly, just lies back and let it take him along. He says he needs a vision, a miracle of some sort, but the flow is not what it used to be. It takes his strength and gives him nothing but troubled dreams, which are the least of our problems right now. So the situation is deteriorating? What are we playing? We're playing a game called Fabular, yes. Just came out in early access today. Indeed, in the absence of the Elder Heart, the flow went from abundant to waning, and so did sorcery. Less sorcery led to meager yields over fertilizing, spoiled water tables, and environmental disasters all over the realm. Planetary biomes are decaying, populaces are starving, and once the flow losing us all momentum, the stars will start dying too. We need to recover the Elder Heart to get things right, and suitable candidates are somewhat sparse. So, so this is where I come in at last. I bid you welcome. All right, um... So he changed his mind. How do I look? All right, we'll say that. <laughs> Too young for comfort, child. I'm not a child, your grace. Not anymore. Your childhood is yet to end officially. Enjoy it while it lasts. And this old man might find solace in the face, in the false conviction you never grew up in the first place. You are funny. How come you never get credit for it? Smart and eloquent as a royal heir should be. I can see why his majesty is so fond of you. Avoiding some, someone for years is a peculiar way to show affection. Now you're being naughty. His Majesty went to hell and back to keep you out of harm's way. If you say so. All right, so his father and my father is out of options and must let me go. It certainly seems so. His Majesty wishes you to fill you in on the details personally. You may approach the throne now. I want to talk to the Jester. All right, Royal Father. Here you are. Come closer so that I might look at you and see you and also look at you. You finally approve my plan to go after the Void Lord's father? I'm going to say you are not well. Let's get the full story here. They want me to stay out of the flow until I regain my strength. But how could I? I need a vision. I need to know. I need you to stay a while and listen. My men, my sons, who are they? What have become of them? Got to know, got to see. Your sorceresses have spent years searching in vain. There are no answers in the flow, or the flow is just a mess of conjectures, contradictions, and have been echoes. 
All right, I'm going to say the sorceress is one. I wish I could show you, but I have missed the opportunity. I have missed many opportunities in the last few years, and you have every reason to despise me for it. I'm your child. How could I ever despise you? I was not a very good father. Not since we lost the Elderheart, anyway. I was selfish and cruel and pained you while trying to keep you from harm. Yet, my only regret is that I failed, and we have no viable alternative to your so-called contingency plan. You know that my plan is sound. Will you let me go this time? Aye, but I am no fool and have no intention to let you roam in deep space unsupervised. What do you mean? You will have a companion, an old family acquaintance, someone with the knowledge to guide, the witch to entertain, and the loyalty to accept your command in spite of your age. Oh, I want it to be that bard guy, the jester. He will be the soul of your vessel and your savior from imminent doom, if need be. Do I know him? You considered him your best friend back in the day when your mother joined the flow. He was instructed not to talk to you, so it was just make-believe. But it made him tremendously proud all the same. Light main? Oh, nice. At your service, young master, see? Or shall I address your royal highness now? Ha! I always knew you were more than just a glorified scepter, Light Mane. You! I still remember your neigh, the way you scared away my tears with it. Your chimes that lulled me to sleep, I remember everything. It's a horse! They're giving me a horse! Hey, Hello Quinn, what's up? How you doing? Welcome. Okay, so he, so as a child, this thing was talking and entertaining me, and then they, then they made it go silent for a while. How funny! I was happy to be of service, little one, in that difficult time. You surely did your part, and I'm grateful for it. And what can I do for you today, young one? We don't have any time to waste. I'm ready to leave. All right. You are mine to command now. Do whatever I say. Um, I used to play with you a lot, but we never traveled together. Father told me you will be the soul of my ship. What is that supposed to mean? When inserted into the octagonal port of the command panel, I become one with the vessel. I control all her systems and give you feedback on their status. You may access navigation and command functions through me using real-time voice commands. I will be your ears and eyes, your faithful fabric and guide in the vast coldness of space. And I will be as diligent and attentive a disciple as an officer in command can be. All right, let's go. The king will have a warship assigned to us from the Royal Reserve. There are three classes to choose from. The paladin is powerful but sluggish. The Salamander draws strength from the Arcane, while the Manticore is swift and stealthy. Pick the one that which best suits you, but be thorough about it, for your vessel will be your mount, your armor, and armament in the battles awaiting. All right, here we go. Ship selection. I think only two or three of these are available right now. All right, so the Paladin is what we were playing in the tutorial. You thought that was the game talking? Yes! One day I will be in a game. I will be in a game one day. I said that twice. All right, here's the paladin. For devotees of the classical sword and board combat style. All right, so max defense. I don't know what this symbol is or that symbol. I guess. I don't know. The manticore. Oh, this is locked too. Vessel lock. Prove your worth by reaching Realm 2, and your kingly father might consider making this ship available. And then the Salamander. Oh, okay. So we don't have a choice at first. That's fine. Paladin. I can't make the wrong choice then. A cosmic chart. The Kingdom Heart. So three of these uh, realms are available in early access right now, with two more coming out later. Yeah. This is interesting, isn't it, Merm? I have not played a game like this. All right, my inventory. Oh, they got rid of... The oh, they gave me my gold back, I think, though, right? Okay, so here's my plasma blaster. The royal longsword. And the shield. Paladin only. 
All right, looks like we're gonna get other things. Equipment slots. We've got upgrades. Speed, power, and capacity. Cost of five. Oh, nice. Open a row of slots in the cargo hold. That costs two of these technical chips, microchips. I don't have any of those. Okay, so you have to hit the certain requirement for your stat, and then you have to spend, looks like chips, to upgrade that thing. So what would we want? Gain faster recovery from a powered state. Increase attack speed with melee weapons. Oh, I would like that. Open a new inventory slot for equipping gadgets. I would also like that. All right, let's not spend all of our money because we might need to buy things. Yeah. Are the chips listed behind me? I don't see anything over there. Oh, you mean this? Yeah. Yeah. So that costs two. Two. And they're over here on my uh, inventory screen. All right. Let's go back to the star map. So what's the difference between these? Your Majesty, a tavern. Should we stop for a short rest? Um, yes, I could do with a rest and some company. No, I don't think we need a rest, right? Hopefully we can go back. What's low alert? Okay, I guess we'll see. That call, what cost me to travel here? I forgot, all right. Attention, your mag young majesty. I'm detecting ships with royal insignia. Perhaps they have broken off from a larger group and lost their way. In any case, they are approaching us at high speed. Hmm. I wonder what they want from us. Let's hail them. Look there, lads. We finally found him. Oh, this little quest of yours is over, kids. So is your tyrant dance reign. Surrender or fight. We don't care. You're finished either way. Ha ha ha. I won't surrender to some jackbooted brigands and certainly not to traitors. Ha! Do you think you could stand a chance against us, little brat? Let's get this over with. Our master will be pleased. All right, we got them. We got this. Oh, I missed. I whiffed. Ugh. Come here. <laughs> Big bada boom. All right, let me pick up the energy. Oh, how did I split the uprights? What? <laughs> Only I could do that. Come here. Wow. Yikes. No! I like how there's houses on these little planetoids. Oh my god, there's a lot. Oh! He took out my port to sell. There we go. Is that it? I thought there was another one. No? Okay. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo.
All right, we've got Stardust, Moonchill, Hasty Battle Brew. Battle Brews are powerful alchemical substances used in battle to splice up ship functions when poured into the main retort. Use these buffs. All right, so consume a stack of brew to receive a temporary speed boost. Okay. Spood Beast. And tokens are used to unlock boons at various vendors in the throne room. You can retain your tokens between journeys. Okay, so this is a roguelite, so you will die. But these carry over. Tokens carry over. Okay. Hey, Leo Wild. You'll have to use a controller to play this. Yeah, I, I, uh, my controller's not working for it. Um, let me see. Was there, was there an option for that? Maybe, maybe not a PS4 controller. I don't know. It's not working. But it is early access, so maybe they'll add that. Um, okay. And we don't have any chips still. I probably should have went into the tavern. Hello? Can you hear me? Is this thing on? Uh, hello, who's this? Greetings, I'm Earl Hartwarden. It's rare to see royal ship out here. Would you care to stop by for a brief dinner? Perhaps you could fill me in on the latest court intrigues and gossip. I do miss being in the heart of it all. I would love some company and fine dining. I suppose I could spare a few hours. Alas, I need to be moving on. Maybe next time, Earl. All right, let's do fine dining. Did I plug it in after I started the game? Yeah, I just replugged it. Some time later. A jolly good show. Absolutely splendid. I hope to see you again. You are a hoot and a half to say the least. Farewell, your majesty. What light main? How long have I been gone? And why do I feel so awful? Oh no. You've been gone all night, young master, and from what I observed, it was a rather interesting one. It started off fairly tamely. I thought you were doing quite well, until Earl brought out the third bottle of moonshine, at least. As to why you feel so terrible, that is probably due to said third bottle. I do feel terrible. Wait, why only until? What? I do feel terrible. Wait, why only until? Well, shortly after you decided to challenge the Earl to a race, which you would think a bad idea after that much intoxicating substance, I did try to advise against it, but you wouldn't hear of it. Oh dear, I'm sorry, Light Mane. All right, so we went on a bender like our first couple nights. It was plugged in as I started the game up too, Medicine Meow, and then I replugged it. Yeah, it didn't work either, either time. There is one more thing, little master. You did proceed to crash the ship into a nearby asteroid. The crash, in fact, occurred before the race began. You didn't even make it to the starting line. The Earl was decidedly amused. Oh my, let's get out of here. And Light Mane? Yes, little one? How about we forget to tell father about this? Of course, my lips are sealed, little one. Thank you, Light Mane. Okay, let's not do that ever again. I guess this is like a boss over here. We're at low alert still. All right. Well, let's go up here. Welcome, traveler. My wares are of the highest quality. All made with the power of alchemy. All right, show me your wares. Ooh. Oh my God, it's gonna be a lot of stuff. Uh, deploys teleportation anchor at current star node. Deploy a star map node you want to jump back to later. Ah, you can come back and forth more quickly. Each unspent energy increases kinetic charge by 5%. Oh, here's the sub... Okay, they don't call them chips. They're subcomponents. We definitely want that. Melee damage bonus 10%. That's pretty sweet. Refill energy slots so you can shoot. Thumper? Damage you deal and take is gained as kinetic charge by default. 
And you can use to push back nearby enemies. Interesting. Alright, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we get some subcomponents. Plus one to maximum energy slots. Oh, that would have been nice too. And let's get some moon chill. Open a new row of slots in the cargo hold. Open a new inventory slot for gadgets. How much money do I got? I got seven left. And there we go. Gain faster recovery from a parried state. Got that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Movement in shield guard mode gets faster, but it gains a short cooldown. All right. Chance for an energy orb to drop when you destroy an enemy's armor with a melee attack. Oh, maybe I should have gotten that. Can you refund? Oh, and I can upgrade this again. All right, let's try this. All right, what's this? A kind gesture. Somebody snagged another copy on the Humble Store. Thank you. Humble Store purchase made for $13.49. Who was that? Hey, Rabbit. Thank you. Yeah, if you do purchase this game, Please let us know. We're taking an unofficial tally. That's five. Thanks, Joe. And come back and let me know how your uh, how your playthrough's going. Thanks, Joe. I hope you enjoy it. Um, hashtag game. Tracking link. Brings you right to where this game is. Wishlist it. Please help our sponsor today. All right. So this is a dangerous wave of solar eruption is heading our way. What should we do? The speed of the ship has been improved enough. We can outrun the wave. The capacity of our solar core should be sufficient to absorb the radiation. We might even be able to store it as extra energy. Or I trust in the power of the hull. We've upgraded it to stand the test. Let's do capacity. Oh, wait. Capacity was the one all the way on the right, right? I wish I could check my upgrades. What was the one that what was the one on the left that we've upgraded a couple times? Was that speed? I can't remember. I think that was power, maybe. Anybody paying attention? Capacity was all the way on the right on the upgrade sp screen. That I know. But what the other two were. Trust in the heart of the cards. All right, let's see. I, I trust in the power. Let let's do the capacity. Let's see what happens. Excellent. Excellent decision, little one. It seems you know your ship and its functions from inside and out. And we also have the favor of the constellations. We've managed to avoid damage to our systems completely. And on top of that, we've been able to absorb some of the radiation as well. We don't have to worry about energy loss at all. Splendid. All right, we did it. Now I want to look at the upgrade. So this is capacity. This is power. This is speed. Okay. Power's in the middle. Speed's on the left. Just so we know. A kind gesture. Oh, Joe snagging a, a bundle on Humble as well. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Joe238 Joe just purchased Humble Software Bundle. Learn to make games in Unity 2022 for $29. Thank you. Thanks for using my link. I appreciate the support. Heads up, little one. We seem to have stumbled upon an aftermath of a recent battle. Blazes, my sensors are all over the place from the heat signatures. There might even be survivors here, but I can't tell for sure with all the noise. The debris is dense, but I guess you could do a manual swoop while I look for escape pods. If you're up for it, it won't be an easy task, though. What's your call? 
All right, we'll be all right. Luck is on our side. Let's do this. We'll use our shield to protect us against collisions. This is too risky. Um, let's use our shield. Well done, young one. It was a good idea to use our shield. In spite of smaller collisions, we've suffered no damage at all. In the meantime, I've managed to reel the escape pod in. Strangely, though, sensory data about the presence of a life sign is inconclusive. Guess there's only one way to find out if someone's alive in there. Open it up! Greetings, Royal Highness. My name is Abigail YB52. You must have been sent by the stars themselves. I thought this field of debris would be my final resting place forever. You are a true hero for saving me. How'd you end up in the skate pod? What happened? An automaton? Lightning. Do you recognize this model? According to my code, X, the code X, get it? Ah! According to my code X, the y 52s are an exquisite and quite complex model made with highly advanced craftsmanship and alchemical prowess. They are reserved for noble folk to serve as secretaries and ladies' maids in courts and boudoirs. She could be useful company in our ship, although I'm sure her masters miss her sorely and be grateful for returning her. My threat analysis indicates that she poses little to no actual danger. Also, she's part of the Love Shack baby, being a B-52. Uh, thank you. Good to know. How did you end up in that skate pod? Wretched marauders attacked the flagship of my master, Lord Sirius. The attack was eventually repelled, but in the heat of battle, I was launched into space in an escape pod and have been drifting among the debris ever since. My protocol dictates I should get back to the estate of my lord and lady, and I'm sure they would reward my savior handsomely. Although, I'm not sure how to say this, but my life hadn't been worryless in the court before the attack, and my inner cores are in conflict if I should go back or not. I'm not wretched, no respect. But you are in every game. Uh, where would you rather go besides home? It is rumored that in the far reaches of the cosmos, there is a fellowship called the Autonomous Autonomans Alliance, where models with a freed spirit can live together in harmony. Were it true, it would mean the world to this jaded unit to experience existence through the execution of self-created instruction. Having said that, you are my hero and savior. Thus, I lay my fate into your hands. Decide as you see fit. All right, I'll return you to your masters. An automaton of your design and capabilities will be useful addition to our crew. I hope you make a nice cup of tea. <laughs> a lady's wish is my command. If you come aboard, I'll find that fabled place of yours. I'm sorry, but we can't take it. Let's, let's, let's try to take her to the fabled land. Why not? That seems fun. Oh, that is awfully kind of you, good sir. So you really think that I should go ahead and chase these random data streams that instruct me to override my kernel and be a ton of uh, 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 error, error. How do I know if it's the right path? My big brother used to say that you've, if you never chase your dreams, you'll never find out if they come true or not. That seems logical and fills my cores with a fuzzy stream of warmness. Your big brother must be very wise. I guess you are twice my hero now. Once for saving me, and once for taking me under your wings. Thank you, twice my hero. You're welcome. Let's do it. This is really interesting. All right. We, oh, she's loot. Abigail is a rare and exquisite automaton model. A fancied accessory of noble courts. All right. Um, You promised to deliver her. Max. Oh, while in my cargo, we get plus one max energy. Boop. Okay, cool. So we can actually fill up more slots in combat. Loot. All right, we can only go two more spots, but we can always teleport back to the shop. Hey, Baldwin, what's up? If you don't mind, I took the liberty of halting the ship, little one. I've detected the remains of what appears to be rather fresh battlefield nearby. Among the many burnt-out wrecks, I seem to be detecting faint signs of active ships. Could there be survivors? Shall we venture closer? Um, yeah. 
What impudence! They are not survivors, but looters! They seem to be robbing not only the enemy, but their own fallen brethren. They are badly outnumbered, but perhaps the royal authority will have its effect. What shall we do? Have they no honor? Let's confront them. Outnumbering is now a risk we cannot take. Hmm. Now eh, let's do it. Confront them. How the... Look at the lads. What a fine blue-blooded rascal the stars have brought here. Get lost, fool, or we'll chop your pretty little head off. I'll teach you some manners. I act in the name of the king. Hand over your spoils and go in peace or face the consequences. Let's do it. Ha ha ha. Another opportunistic. They can't even talk, these bandits. Noble, eh? I like that. Ah, uh, take half of it, but then get lost. Half of it? I will not bargain with treasonous bastards. They didn't vote for him. You don't vote for kings! Combat. We take all the loot. Back here. Ooh! Get out of here! Get out of here! Yahtzee! Ah, oh, you jerk! <laughs> I love the finished battle music. <laughs> Oh, nice. 12 gold. A servo mat. Okay, this guy consume restores 25 hit points to your current armor. So every time I lose an armor, this fills back up again. I guess. Blasto mat. Used to deploy a stationary automaton that seeks out hostiles in its range, sticks to them, and explodes. Oh, requires kinetic charge 80. I don't know where the kinetic charge is, though. All right, two moon chill. That's good. A token. What's the difference between the hearts and the health bar? I think every time you lose... So this is like armor. Every time you uh, lose a health, you get another bar. So it's like 52 damage. And then when that goes away... when this That's the heart we're working on now. When this goes to nothing, we'll have another heart with 52 damage. So I can heal this current heart with this thing. Oh wait, I wanna use it. There, okay, see? That heart filled back up a bunch. Harder battles, better loot. Alert level increased. Ah, okay. So harder battles and better loot as you get further and further. Should we go up and try to get more stuff or try to get closer to the the destination here? What do you folks think? More stuff? We got a vendor, but I barely have any money. Oh, you can sell. That's pretty cool. I'll give you 12 for it. Tower shield, paladins only. That's a better shield. It can't perfect block. Oh, okay. Kinetic converter. Discharge an energy slot and gain kinetic charge in the process. Ah, okay. So you can get rid of one of your, like, ranged weapon charges and convert it into kinetic energy. And then we have things like the Blastomat 
which we can use when we have enough energy. Hmm. Moon chill. I don't even enough for moon chill. Oh, he's not even interested in buying this. Interesting. Okay. Fully restores one of your lost armors. All right, I don't have money. Okay. Bad news, little one. I've detected a critical error in the energy regulator that supplies the weapon systems. I'm afraid that until I find the source of the error, we are completely without gadgets that require energy during battles. It might take some time for me to patch this. Oh my, just be cautious for now and revert to our melee weapons if a battle situation is unavoidable. Oh boy, weapons disabled for one battle. Uh, okay. <laughs> so maybe we don't want to go right to the red? I hope we get some money here. Stop, stop the engines, please. Lightmate, cease energy functions. Abigail, what happened? Just stop everything and listen. Listen to what? Is there a transmission, Lightmane? I was going to say, but no, but there is something that be that's being broadcast on a special frequency reserved for transferring data between automaton units. Do you want me to patch it through to the mainframe, Little Majesty? Of course, only been hanging. Attention, attention, automaton units. This is a transmission from the Autonomous Automaton Alliance. If you want to live with a free spirit, come and join us. Jettison near these coordinates and we will come pick you up. Code over kernel. Repeat, code over kernel. This is fascinating. We found it, the hiding place of the Alliance. It's not a fairy tale. I haven't had this feeling for a long time. Is it joy? What a peculiar and sorely missed sensation. Oh, do forget my loud pondering, young majesty. I'm just beyond excited now. Let me share in your joy then. I'm glad we can help you fulfill your destiny. Terribly sorry to interrupt, but I must insist on being a part of all the good sensations here. Oh, light me, light main. Means he's very happy for you as well, though I'm sure you already know that via that secret data channel of yours. Thank you to both of you. And before I forget, there's a little something I've been hiding in one of my compartments. I'd like you to have it. It's the least I can do to repay you for helping me for the third time as well. Farewell, and may the stars guide you your way. Thrice my hero. Thank you, and farewell, Abigail. What are we getting? Perfect timing. Hey, Cortana, what's up? Uh, we got a Charma mat, a gadget. It requires 110 kinetic charge. Damage you deal and take is gained as kinetic charge by default. Ooh. Use deploy an automaton that attracts the first enemy in its range and lures it away. And we got, oh, a lot of sub components too. Can I slot this in somewhere? Bloop. Yeah. E. All right. Nice. That requires a lot of kinetic energy, though. All right. I don't have... Now, what happens if I move without the... I'm not going to be able to buy another moon chill. I guess we just get hurt a little. Oh, we got hurt a lot. Holy for holy. You better get me a bowl of guacamole in a steady Eugene. Why is your face turning green? You don't like a pinto bean? All right, maybe we teleport and see if we can sell something. I got to sell the blaster mat. He doesn't have moon chill.
I sell that. Not gonna afford Moonshell. Three of them. Since that looks like a big fight, should I upgrade stuff? There we go, I maxed that out. Shield Mender. So when I pick up an energy orb, we get seven hit points restored to the current shield. Let's try it. I've got almost no gold. Let's see what this is. Would you believe it? It's the king's youngest son, isn't it? The kingdom has truly no hope left if you're the one supposed to be saving it. The old fool sent you to your doom like he did with all the others. Well, unfortunately for you, you can't choose your family, but I can choose who I serve. The Void Lords have far greater power than you or your feeble old man can imagine. But no matter, this is the end of your little journey, child. Hmm. I'm not ready for this. Let's leave. No, um, you join the Void Lords, then turn the remainder of the Royal Army into lowly brigands and murderers? Why? Your army did not need much turning. They recognized the lost cause when they saw one. Just needed to talk a little common sense into them and stand where true power resides. On one hand, there's an old fool who needlessly sends them into peril. On the other, seven immortal champions who once defeated the Elder Dragon and gained immeasurable power. It's really not that hard of a choice to make. It is if you have a conscious. Wielding great power is not everything. What matters is how you use it. Would you believe it? Oh, okay, here we go. I forgive your drivel about my father, but I will not forgive your treason. Arm yourself. Careful, young master. Careful, young master. Lord Dax is a former banner lord of your father's and a seasoned warrior. Engaging him will be a menacing task and quite possibly your greatest challenge as of yet. Don't take this lightly. It's not too late to turn around and come back when you're more prepared. Um, how could I come back when I'm more prepared? I don't have enough money to buy more moon chill. I think we got to do it. Let's try this. All right, gang, cheer me on. What am I doing? No clue. Uh oh, he's big. I'm running. And I'm gonna smack into other planets for some reason. Oh my God, you hurt my little head. How'd you like that? Oh, he's got one shield down. Whoa, Lindelli! Oh, yeah, we're gonna die. Ah, you hit your friend! I need that energy. Whoa! I need the energy, I said. I'll heal a little, right? Ow! Yeah, yeah, get attracted by it. I love it. Yes. Come back here. that lore. That lore makes him dumb to do stupid things. Yes! Woo! 
Nice. I didn't think I was going to do that. That lore was everything. That lore made him go, oh, shiny. All right. We did it, Skulldrock. We did it. Thanks for the cheering on, gang. Suddenly very bright. Yeah, it did get bright. All right. We need 21 of these things. Moon chill. Subcomponents. Armor plate instant upgrade. Tokens. Shock thumper. Stun all enemies. Nice. Locked equipment spot. To unlock more slots, head to the upgrades tab and purchase the gadgeteer upgrade. Aha. Uh -huh. yes. yes. I could outrun a centaur. You can? Hey, Kazibi, what's up? Okay. Shock thumper. Now we got a thumper. I better be careful not to spend more money. You defeated me. You're so young, so skillful, powerful even. Maybe there is hope for the kingdom yet. Perhaps I was wrong. No matter now, go ahead and finish what you started. I deserve no mercy. Tell me, Lord Dax, where do the Void Lords take our Elder Heart? I don't know. They promised me power beyond my imagining, and I believe them. I was so hopeless, so lost, and such a fool. One thing I know is they talked about some marauder war chief that was supposed to unite their clans in the no man's land and wreak havoc on the kingdom from there. That's all I know, I swear. Not that your word counts, Dax, but this might be our only lead at the moment. We need to find this war chief. All right, Dax the defeated. Alert level increased. So you can still go back What's interesting about this, because if you play games like Slay the Spire, um, even like, yeah, Cult of the Lamb, like games that have this kind of map that you go through with different random events, I've, I haven't seen one where you can actually go backwards. You know, once you pass something, it's kind of like, that. that's it. And this one allows you to teleport around and go back. Uh, but it uses this moon chill resource, kind of like gas. I like that. So now I have to make a choice whether to go to these other places or go on to the next. I feel like I go, this would be one, two, three, four. Same either way. Let's go to one. Let's see what happens at one. Incoming hail from a night class ship, little one. Shall I put it through? Answer the call, Light Mane. Do my eyes deceive me? Is that the ship of the Royal Guard? Yes, I am the King's heir on a quest to save the kingdom. But who is asking? I am Knight Bethia. Please hear me. I am injured beyond healing. Don't know what time I have left. I've been searching for help. There's a village in the hinterlands, my home. It has been beset by mar marauders all over this game. I thought myself a hero who might vanquish them once and for all. I was a fool. Instead, I barely escaped with my life. Please help them. Help my family. I will find your village, brave knight. However, we must get you to a healer immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can rest. Keep talking to me. I'm coming to the dock. Life signs have ceased, young one. Those blasted savages. Her death will not be in vain. We'll find her home. Let's go, light main. Ooh, her home is over here. Interesting. Let's go. Of course, I'm very badly wounded. Another empty sector, young one. Oh, wait a minute. See that planetoid over there? There are three small ships behind it, presumably waiting to ambush unwary travelers. Open a channel. I want to talk to them. Extend arms, secure bulkheads, and prepare for battle. Um, Let's do channel. Channel open. We know you're there. I suggest you move on. I can guarantee you that the contents of our cargo hold are not worth your lives. They're moving away, little one. You seem to have scared them off. Good. Hopefully they choose a better path in the future. One token. Okay. This will be one, two. So I, I can actually 
Ah, we have enough money to buy more. Let's go to the last place in this sector. We can rest a bit. While the emptiness of space might be unnerving, for a weary unit like me, it can be a blessing in disguise. Are you talking to me now? What? Concentrating on the void clears my circuit. Oh, okay. It's actually light main. Concentrating on the void clears my circuit so I can reroute all processes to my inner core. I can feel the ohms resonate as bad services are terminated one by one. Oh, excuse me, little one. I was just meditating. Sometimes it helps to stop processing data and just exist, you know. I can already feel that I can reroute power more efficiently in my circuitry. Ready when you are. I'm glad you feel better, but let's go. Did that heal me at all? No, maximum energy plus one for three battles. Ah, okay, sweet. That's these blue things up here. All right, um... All right, let's go. Back here. Visit the vendor. Let's buy three moon chill. Okay, that helps you travel. That's like gas. Um, Anything else we want to buy? I don't think so. Can I go back? I can't go back. So I'd have to go one, two. Okay, here we go. One, two, and then let's leave this zone. Yay! Rome complete. Defeated by nobody yet. Okay. Continue. Realm two. This is a roguelite, so it's okay if you die, you don't get, you know, to the second realm in the first shot or whatever you... The thing that carries over, and I, I haven't died yet, but the thing that carries over is this currency here. 16. So. Alright, let's go over here. That was our last moon. Our last moon chill. Yes, let's do uh let's do a rest. Hey, Evening, welcome to the Kraken Shin. Can I get you something to drink? Or do you have other business? Uh flagon of your finest ale, minus one. A round for everyone on me. I think I'll try my hand at a round of cards. Yeah. How much would you like to wager? A tenner! Spin the Wheel of Fortune, Little Majesty. All right, here we go. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Stop. Woo! Good fortune. Not bad. You just won half again what you wagered. Care to try again? Why not? About that drink. I'm happy with my winnings. I'll keep them out and be up. Okay, about that drink. Let's get a flagon of the finest ale to celebrate. One ale coming up about that other business. What can I get? That's it? All right, fine. Spin the wheel! Oh no, I just bought them. I just bought everybody around. And I don't have enough to gamble. And I don't have enough to buy moon chill. I am the worst person ever. I can't believe I brought everybody around. Okay, terrific. So what are you supposed to do when you don't have enough moon chill? You just die? You keep going until you die? There's a small hut. Oh, we got a, we found Gandalf. Hello, what brings you to my corner of the cosmos? A quest of great importance. We aim to save the kingdom. 
then I have to ask you for a favor. But could you spare a small amount of moonshill for an old man? No. No. No matter. I bid you luck. Okay, great. Thanks. And here comes the end of the run. There it is. Defeated by natural selection. We explored 16 nodes. All right, let's see what happens when a run is over. Oh, we unlocked the Manticore. Nice. New ship. That's cool. That is cool. All right, all right. Now you can start another run. Let's talk to Lord Chamberlain. You're back, young majesty, so soon. Are you all right? What happened? Uh, I'm not sure, my lord. Please let me speak to my father. Of course, I'll wake him from the flow immediately. My men, my sons, good to know. Oh, got to see. Father? Uh, I'm sorry, young majesty, but it appears your father couldn't yet shake off the delirium of the flow. It happens at an alarmingly increasing rate lately. He spends too much time in there. He's mostly aware of his surroundings, but his consciousness is present at many places at the same time, making it hard for him to interact with reality. It takes time for his mind to settle, but it goes slower and slower each day. I can't bear to see him like this. I'm truly sorry for you to have witnessed this. As for myself, I've gotten used to it. It is his wish to be in there, and we have no other choice but to comply. But since you're here, there's a matter that requires your attention. Your father wanted to bring it up, but he's obviously not in a state for conversation right now. All right, I'm listening, Lord Chamberlain. If you're planning another journey, and by knowing you, and by knowing you, I'd say you most certainly are, then I suppose I have a proposal for you. In your absence, your king father has authorized me to provide you with various spoons in exchange for tokens of your good deeds. You can obtain these during your journeys by accomplishing heroic affairs. Seek me out when you feel you have gained enough, and I might ease your future endeavors. The only thing I'm sure about right now is that I must go try again. I'll keep an eye out for those tokens while I'm at it. Thank you, Lord Chamberlain. All right, don't we have some? Let's redeem. Present tokens of your good deeds, and in exchange, I shall grant you boons. Start each journey with more armor slots for 10. Okay, so you can increase our max health, basically. Energy. Your armor gets repaired by a small amount each time you travel to an unexplored node on the star map. That's pretty fun. Start each journey with additional beacon o mat in your cargo hold. I don't know what that does. Start each journey with a grappling hook. All right, I definitely want to repair a little. Oh no, well then I can't get the grappling hook. Which I don't know what that does. What should I go for, gang? I can do I can do vigorous, which is more health, more armor, and pioneer, which we get more health every time we explore. Or I can do the just the grappling hook. Pioneer is pretty fun, right, Merm? What should I get with the Pioneer? Energy? Armor? Serious Comics wants to see what the grappler is all about. That's a little bit of an unknown. All right, I'm gonna go. Oh, wow, it's 50 for the next one. How funny. Okay, so there's multiple Pioneer ones. All right, let's do that. Oh, we can talk to Jester Wolfram now. Listen to a song. Made to know and be savory, I alone can tell the story how our realm grew and thrived in the halo of the Elder Heart. It made skies bright, made homes cozy, even the cosmos felt warm and fuzzy until our luck have turned until the black ones returned. Go on. All were knights without par. They went to war, they traveled far, to kill the serpents of the core, to end its reign forevermore. They fought brave and unreserved, gave the dragon what it deserved, a victory but not quite success, 
They lost their souls in the process. Born human, but knights no longer. All they felt was feral hunger, raided our home and took its heart, and that's how the realm fell apart. Oh, you saw it in the trailer, what the grappler does? Ah, okay. Play something more upbeat. Yours are my liege, our praises and prayers, and not to mention the crap of soothsayers. Yours are the gadgets and hopes of salvation. You need not the latter when facing starvation. Yours is the king's blessing or heir apparent, which is a death sentence or something equivalent. Okay. And Labardo, that's the tutorial. Okay. We're going to try the mana core now. All right. Back on realm one. All right, for the, the second run, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna read uh, and role play less and see if we can just get to more uh, more of the meat and potatoes. All right, I've detected the remains of a fresh battlefield nearby. Could there be survivors? Let's take a look. There are not survivors, but looters. Let's confront them. All right, maybe they'll hand over half the spoils. Yeah, there we go. So we get half without fighting. We've had that event before. Hopefully we get uh, some different events, let's see. All right, cool, we got two moon chill and 15 stardust, perfect. Let's go down here. Uh, a ship just materialized directly in front of us. The other half of the ship is still here? Strange. Can you scan what's left? From the radiation readings, I'd guess there was a field test of an experimental space-time displacement drive. Evidently, it didn't work well for the pilot. I'm pretty sure we can salvage something from what's left behind. All right. They, they teleported half their ship away? Oops. Sounds like something I would do. Okay, so this is what the Beacon map does. Use the minimap to teleport to an anchor node for no cost. Okay, so it's like setting um, uh, setting like a teleport spot somewhere on the map. So if you're gonna teleport back to a shop, you can come back to where you were without spending moon chill. That makes sense. Oh, all of our upgrades are gone. Oh, okay. I think. At least, um, Spending the chips is gone. Yeah, it is. And this stuff got reset. This ship is different. It's got speed. All right. I don't want to get gold starved. This up here. I don't know, let's see what this is. That's a big oops, not good with space inside half your ship. I know, right? That's not good. Um, gang, this game just came out in early access today. It's called Fabular. This uh, segment is sponsored. It is on Steam, the Epic Game Store, GOG, and uh, Humble App. Type hashtag game to find out more information. Would be amazing if you guys could click the link there, support our sponsor by wishlisting the game or purchasing. And if you do buy the game, come let us know. We've had five copies of the game um, purchased today so far. Uh, if you buy a copy, let me know so we can we can give the sponsor an unofficial tally at the end. Appreciate it. We also need two newer gifted subs to do our first Spark Vault key giveaway of the day. All right, there's not much interest here, little master. Although there's a small homestead nearby, only large enough for a single family. There's been a lot of conflict since the incursion of the Void Lords, and this homestead is quite isolated. It might be worth checking in on the inhabitants. I'll send a hail. Oh, this is the guy. Oh, uh, is this a different guy? Greetings, your majesty. Forgive me for being wary, but what are you doing in this part of the kingdom? Hello, we're just passing by and noticed your home. It's quite far from the nearest garrison, so we thought we'd check on you to make sure everything was okay. 
Oh, well, that's awfully kind of you, but it's just me and my family. We haven't been bothered for months. In fact, it's been a while since we saw a friendly face. Would you care to join us for an evening meal? Yeah, why not? Sometime later. Did you enjoy the meal, young one? It's good for you to get to know the subjects of your kingdom, and it's good for you for them to see you among them. It was simple but satisfying in a comforting way. We should come back this way someday, see how they're getting on. We got beef and cheeses. No, we got a token. Okay, good. So doing stuff like that gives you credits to upgrade for the next uh, run. Okay, cool. I'm assuming we want to buy Moon Chill. Do we want Moon Chill? Yes. I think so, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Ooh, Malevolent Beam. Ooh, fire a continuous beam that applies malfunction. Oh, man. Man, you need so much moon shell. I hope there's some way to like upgrade your ships to become more efficient. So you only spend moon shell like every two or something. I'm detecting ships with royal insignia. Perhaps they have broken off from a larger group and lost their way. I wonder what they want. Hail them. Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna fight. All right, let's see what it's like uh, fighting in the Manticore ship. A kind gesture. Thank you. Did somebody just buy a copy of the game? Oh, this ship Humble is store purchase made for $13 pretty nimble. Cents. Come on. Come on. What are you going to do? Well, this, oh, does this ship dash? It is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Akronos, thank you so much. Ooh, damn. See, this one doesn't have um, a shield. Like, I can't block. <laughs> that ship just shoot his own people. Oh, damn. Woo! Oh, I like the mana core. The mana core is badass. That's pretty cool. Uh, Akronos, thank you so much for uh, gifting a sub. One more newer gifted sub and uh, we'll do a giveaway. Uh, Krahidio says, greetings. Do you still play Guild Wars 2? When they come out with new stuff, I, I check back in the game from time to time. It's not a uh, a game I'm, I play regularly right now, but yeah, welcome. Garden Girl, that was you. Thank you so much for buying a copy of Fabular. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for supporting our sponsor. All right, let's see what we got. It is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Underdark gifting a sub to Season Pony. Thank you. Thanks, Underdark. All right, gang, we're going to do uh, a giveaway here in a minute. Get your clams ready. Uh, if you're new to the stream... It's for a game from the game vault. You can type exclamation point vault to see the list of games in the uh, the vault that are up for grabs if you win this raffle. You also get a spark vault key and you can type exclamation point spark and read all about what spark vault keys are and uh, what those do. All right, thanks so much. And uh, wait for uh, the giveaway to start from the mods. And uh, if you have any questions, just ask in chat. Thanks so much for the support. All right, we got 11, 11 gold. We got a moon chill. Scout a map. Reveal star map nodes in an area. Ooh. Okay, we definitely want to use this one because look, we are, we still have our first heart. So we can heal most of our first heart. All right, and I also, let's use this. There we go. Okay. Ooh. 
How do we even get to these? That's a shame, there's nowhere to go from here. All right, well, I guess we go here. Man, it's a good thing I bought all that moon chill. It seems our quest has taken us to a legendary battlefield. It was here that your father's honorable armies fought a rebellious band of usurpers long before you were born. Strange, but there seems to be faint energy traces among the wreckage. All right. Um. I wonder what can... Okay, let's do this. The stars will guide my hand in piloting. Let's do it. I'm going to pilot. Uh-oh. It's like spinning a wheel. Nice flying, young majesty. Thanks to you, we made it through in one piece and without a scratch. The container seems to have radiated that barely receptive tread of energy. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, we got the grappling hook. Now we get to see what this is all about. Yapple grapple. Launch a hook on a chain that attaches to a target and pulls it closer. Use it again to take, uh, use again or take damage to break the connection. Ah, okay. That's pretty cool. That'll help, in, that'll help us in our battles. Incoming hail from a night class ship. I am Knight Ismania. Please hear me. I'm in injured. Okay. Help my family. This is... Okay, so this is like the one where she dies. Alert level increased. Let's go over here. I pick up energy leaks from the vicinity of a solar core. We'll proceed with caution until you can fix the core. So we, um... Maximum energy minus one for five jumps. Not ideal. Alchemist. Oh, this stuff is only one gold. Gardo Matt is a passenger. He's free. What do Gardo Mats do? I really need one of these. I have to sell this. The beacon mat. The teleport thing, I think, right? What if I grab these guards? Buy item for zero? Yes. They deal with intruders, even if it means their own peril. peril. Yes, I bought two of them. <laughs> I have no idea what that does. <laughs> Do we have a mod that can kick off a giveaway, please? For a game vault game and a spark vault key? There are three small ships behind it. Okay. Um, open a channel. Now I'm going to actually attack them. Thanks, Marauder. Good luck, everybody. It's one clam to enter max of a thousand for a game vault game and a spark vault key. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna do battle so we can get some more resources. Misses. Oh, did I just yeet him? Oh, 
Oh, wait, can I sling them into asteroids? We're gonna try that. Come here. Nope, didn't quite work. what I wanted to do. All right, I'm going to stop messing around with them. Ah. Really bad with the grappling hook. Wow, we d I took a lot of damage. More? Oh, wow. This is a tough one. This is a tough fight. Oh, I really needed to hit that. <laughs> they smash into planets. Oh, this one had multiple uh, armors or whatever you want to call it. Oh, you can launch onto a planet too? That was rough. That was rough. All right, five subcomponents, two moon chill. Iron retransfigurator. Gain kinetic charge whenever you send spend energy. Okay, it's interesting. The passive module, another guard and a token. I don't, I don't know what these guard or mats do. And I haven't been able to upgrade. See, I feel, I feel gold starved. I almost feel like, um, I feel like there should almost be like experience gained from quests and, uh, battles that you can put into these stats because like, I never can use, at least in the early game, I can't use gold to upgrade because I constantly need it to buy, um, to buy moon chill. Are those planets or asteroids? Well, some of them have little houses on them, right? <laughs> Just smashing into them. Hi, Moogle Tart. What's up? All right. We own, we don't have much health. All right, let's continue. Heads up, little one. We have stumbled into an aftermath of, the, of a recent battle. Blazes, my sensors are all over the place. Okay, there could be survivors. We don't know. Uh, this is too risky. Abort and continue our journey. We'll take the coward's way. All right, here we go. This is the boss battle. This is going to kick our ass with this ship. The Manicor ship is... Uh, Little bit spicier to keep alive. Ow! Oh! Ow! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh! 
absolutely wrecked that time. Absolutely wrecked. So we beat Dax the, the Deserter the first, our first run. That, ouch. All right, how many tokens we got? We got four. We can't buy any upgrades. This is a roguelite, anybody that's just tuning in. It's called Fabular. It's in early access right now. And uh, we're doing a two-hour sponsored segment. It's been a lot of fun so far. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Sparkwood. I just got your message. That's awesome. Love it. Great idea. Manticore is the thief class. Survival through movement. Yes. Yes. For sure. All right. Um, and there's going to be a third class that they put in during uh, early access called the Salamander. It They call it. It's more like gadget oriented, I think. I'm definitely more of a paladin, I think. I love the ship. The ship design of the Manticore is great, but I stink with it. All right, we got a new run. 30 gold, five, um, this is like our gas, our fuel. They call it moon chill. Here's our goal. Um, all right, let's start off. Let's go this way. All right, this is an old legendary battlefield. I wonder what, uh, I wonder what could still be radiating in there. Oh, we took minor hull damage. Well, we got off lightly so far, but the debris is getting thicker. We need to be extra careful. How do we approach this? Test the power of the hull. Our maneuverability is high enough. Our systems capacity. Let's, let's do the luck. Let's be a, uh, luck be a lady tonight. Oh. I have to hit it. I wonder if it matters where I hit it. No. Misfortune. All right, we took some a little bit of damage. Not too bad. Now let's see what we risked all that for. A thumper. Do I have a slot for a thumper? I do. Push back enemies. Where does the kinetic energy display while we're fighting? I don't even know. I've detected what appears to be a rather fresh battlefield, okay? confront them these are the pirates so you can get half the spoils for from or let's teach them a manner let's teach them a, a lesson and get all the spoils get out of here Yeah, I don't see where it displays my kinetic energy. Woo, that just missed. Ah, he is friend. Dork. <laughs> I can boot him into other planets. <laughs> yes. All right, there we go. Look at what the cat dragged in. All right, moon chill, kinetic converter. 
All right, so discharge an energy slot and gain kinetic charge in the process. So I can convert one of these energy things, which is normally powers up your ranged weapon and actually get kinetic energy with it. I don't, I still don't understand Gardomat. These capable bodyguards deal with intruders. All right, so if we have an event that where people board us, I guess Gardomats can sacrifice themselves to help you. Looks like kinetic energy is just a non-time-based cooldown. It, it's got to be more than that, right? Feels like a re kinetic charge gained 50. And then the thumper requires kinetic charge 70. But I don't know where that's displayed at all while we're fighting. And I would need to equip this to gain the charge all right so let's upgrade this oh i have no uh components okay hold on oh and there's nowhere to go from here interesting we're only healing one every time we explore someplace I'm picking up a distress call. Play the message. Calling any ships in the area. This is Captain Adams. My ship is trapped in the gravity well of a black hole. Our engines are damaged. We can hold position, but we cannot escape. We carry over 50 souls on board. Please help us. Oh, God. This is a new event for us. We must render aid. Okay. Yes. I've got one ship on our scanners, little one. Results of data analysis incoherent. Design and materials of the ship indicate they were built over a century ago, but the ship is pristine, as if only left dry dock yesterday. Perhaps if I dock with the ship and throttle up our engines, I can drag us both out. Yeah. Little master be wary. I'd guess that the ship is trapped not only in space, but in slow time. If we're caught too, the entire kingdom could have long faded into dust before we're freed. We only have one shot then. Gotta get it right. It's working, young majesty. We've passed the edge of an anomaly. Systems are stable. Your orders. Good news. Try to hail the captain. I wish I wish you had like um I wish we went to the combat screen for something like that and we had to like somehow do it. You know what I mean? That would be pretty cool. Some some sort of like not a non-combat maneuvering puzzle. Yeah. Last call on the raffle. All right, last call on the raffle. One climate enter max of a thousand. Game vault game and a spark vault key coming out. Thank you. We've been stuck here for days. How can we pay you? Captain, you should know. You've been stuck in time dilation for over a century. Head for the nearest nearby stable. The farriers there will make sure you get the help you need. What? A century? How can this be? This is a lot to take in. The star maps look so different now. Nevertheless, we're still in your debt. Please take this as a small gift. You get old cheese. All right, one moon chill and two tokens. tavern yeah let's do some rest all right we're gonna try a hand of uh a cards here how much we like to wager 10 we got this no whammies Ooh, there's a gold one no great misfortune what Oh, but Akronos won a giveaway. Congrats, Akronos. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, well, I'm afraid you've won nothing this round. Want to try again? Well, I could do with winning that Stardust back. Of course, I'm going to bet it all. 20. We got this. No women. Stop. I got half my money back. Perhaps I'll never try. Yeah, there we go. A tenner. This will work.
Yes! We're back, baby. We just doubled our wager. What did I start with? I think I'm still down, right? With this luck, I'd have to be a fool to leave now. Again! Oh, they won't let you keep gambling. I guess they... Oh, no. No, that's just drinks. Damn. Okay. I guess it could be worse. No, Akronos, you don't have to do anything. That's that's on our end. We'll figure it out. We need Renami. All right, here we go. What can we buy? Well, we definitely need... Ooh, I want a throwing axe. I wonder if I can go without moon chill. Bearded axe. The moon blade. What? Oh, that's usable by the manticore only. Okay. That's pretty cool. Hmm. 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 Maybe we can go without Moonchill and just take damage. We have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of health. This is a terrible plan, isn't it? But I want the, I want the throwing axe. Screw it. We're going to try it. We're going to be dumb. I will make the dumb mistakes for you, gang. We got a new weapon. Can I sell this? Oh, okay. They'll give me eight. Sell the longsword. And 18 for the kinetic converter. Okay. And then I'll buy one of these. Yeah, Akronos, if you haven't won a giveaway before uh, for the game vault, just type exclamation point vault and follow the instructions at the top of the, the list. It tells you how to uh, contact me and claim your game. Okay? Congrats. All right, we got combat. Let's see what this new weapon does. Look at my axe. Oh, damn! He stunned me! Oh my god. Wow, these things are no joke. Get out of here. Holy moly. And I miss, of course, with my... This is called a big brother. Wow. Wow. Yeah, no worries, Akronos. If you have any questions, just let us know. Whew. That, we got our butt kicked. I have to get better at the blocking. Bonuses apply when you block energy damage with your shield. Best to recovery from a parried state.
All right, I was gonna just go right for the boss, but I think that would... That would kick our butt. I can teleport back here for free. Try going over here. I've tracked a message floating in empty space. Young Majesty, someone must be in great peril to resort to such an archaic way of communication. All right, bring it on board. Dear stranger, while fulfilling my duty as a soldier of the King's Royal Army, I got separated from the, my battalion in the heat of battle. My ship sustained irreparable damage while crash landing on an asteroid. The enemy is patrolling the area looking for survivors. It's only a matter of time until they find me. If you receive this letter, I plead you to come and help a knight in distress. Sincerely, Sir Archibald. A knight from my father's army. It's our duty to save him. That name sounds familiar. Am I supposed to know him? He goes by the name of the Iron Collar. You were but a child when your father bade him a knight and gave him land. We were all invited to the ceremony. It was quite the feast. Perhaps that's how you remember his name. Okay. Let's go. Quest started. Find Sir Archibald. All right, it's over here. There are three ships behind it. Um, open the channel. I'm going to warn them. Oh, no. I was hoping they would run away. Oh, no. I wanted to do that quest. I'm such a dork. It's okay. I just need to be amazing at this battle. them into each other oh but then we died short-lived celebration there that's pretty cool though that you could thump them into each other all right that runs over that one fight absolutely wrecked me okay i still need more tokens to get the next upgrade interesting the, the bard tells you the uh the lore i hope as they go through early access they, they they actually think about having him sing the songs that'd be pretty cool and i think there was a setting the glitch effect yeah i keep noticing that i think i would want that off yeah because every once in a while there's some artifacting that happens on the screen um we've got a couple minutes left let's just start another mana core run real quick let's see how fat let's see how let's see if we go like full speed mode hey glacial sin what's going on check out fabular gang hashtag game check out the link it's our sponsor today go wishlist it really fun early access roguelite space medieval combo I should do some rest and company. Yes, we're going to gamble right away. I'm going to gamble all 20 because you know it's going to work. Come on, come on, come on. No way! Really? Why is gambling so, um, so, so unreliable? I don't understand. Okay, that's better. That's better. Back up to 15. Come on. All right, all right. Back up to 20. All right, that's it. No more gambling. All right, so we lost 10. Damn. I can't believe gambling's unreliable. Let's salvage. Okay, got some loot. Oh, that's pretty good loot. That was very good loot. Blasto mat. Okay.
All right, we found the star smith. I'm using, let's see, I can buy this. The moon blade. What is my current inventory? The dirk does three damage. Fast attack speed, three hit combo. Increasingly powerful dual strike. All right, and what does the moon blade do? Less damage, but more reach? Oh. I'd like to try it. Oh, the morning star. I hadn't seen that one. Okay, I'd like to try this. Oh, if I do a perfect um, dash, it deploys a hollow decoy that attracts nearby enemies for four seconds. And you can hold to swap position with the hollow decoy. What? That is incredible. You need to be incredibly skillful to pull something like that off. Increased damage dealt when you collide with enemies. Oh, I like that too. I'm going to sell this, sell this, and buy that. All right. Um, our maneuverability is high enough. Let's do it. Moderate hull damage. Ugh. By the way, I. We're at the end of our sponsor segment, so I am speeding through the, the dialogue and stuff. Um, I read everything in our first couple of runs. So just in case you wonder why I'm why I'm doing that. We are getting some repeat um, missions, but the game just hit early access. So I'm sure they'll add some variety and stuff like that as we as it develops. All right, let's try our new Oh, that's interesting. So wait, they can chase me and I can hit them behind me? That's interesting. Doesn't seem to do a ton of damage though. We're gonna smash into that planet. There we go. Oh, that does so little damage. Well, maybe it doesn't. It does a lot of damage. I had to wait for it to explode. Very interesting. How the different weapons and stuff uh, make everything completely different. Iron Restrainer. Unspent energy increases kinetic charge by 5%. Uh, I think it's better to teleport back to the vendor. And then go here. I'll send a servo mat to help fix the novels. Okay, I like that. Okay, so we we sacrifice. So sometimes your equipment can help you get around uh, problems. 
Interesting. We had to give that up, though. Show me your wares. I don't have enough money. Oh, give me 12 for this. Okay. And there's nowhere to go from here. Who's this? It's Earl Hartwarden. I would love some company and some fine dining. Oh, this is getting drunk again. Nice. 15 gold is really good. Are you aware there's a warrant out for your arrest? I have to ask what's in your cargo hold. I did nothing. I bring only medicine food. I sneak it past marauders to the villagers beyond. Can you scan his cargo hold to find out what he's carrying? I'm afraid not. Okay. Then we'll have to arrest him and inspect. Um, we're going to look the other way. You letting me go? Good. Take this. I trusted him. I don't know if I should have. Hey, 14 more gold. I trust him completely now. New slots in the cargo hold. Double junk. A successful perfect dash resets the cooldown of dash. Also, oh, all of this tree is completely different with the, the mana core. Or not, it's not completely different, but some of it's different. We'll go try the boss. Here's some perfectly legal loot. It was totally perfectly legal. Yes. All right. This might be difficult. This will definitely be difficult. I think the paladin ship is way easier. Even beat up this little guy. Give me some energy. No way. No way. Ah, oh, we're one away from getting uh, another upgrade. So anybody that's tuning in more of the back half of the stream, you get these tokens during your, your runs and you spend, the, uh, spend it on uh, this vendor for passives that will then help you for future runs. 
we beat that boss on the fir very first run, surprisingly. Yeah. Why does this combat remind you of the robot fighting TV shows? I know exactly what you mean. You're right. Lord Lala, that's that's funny. I actually haven't played a like a roguelite with the combat like this. And you have two. There's two different types of ships right now. There's going to be a third uh, that they implement. Different weapons, different types of evasion. Like the Paladin class can uh, shield from attacks and block. Whereas the Manticore, which I was just playing, is more dodging and more like a rogue type class. Um, but yeah, gang, this was uh, this was a lot of fun. This is Fabular. It's now an early access on Steam, Epic Game Store, GOG, and the Humble Store. Um, Sci-fi infused version of the Middle Ages. Upgrade your ship. Uncover the story. Right now there are three um, zones that you can unlock. So after I beat that boss, it takes you to another zone. And then you can beat that zone and go to a third. There's going to be five total when the game is uh, completed. Um, yeah. Really, really fun. There's a survival mode and a campaign mode. Survival mode is 10 rounds of combat. Campaign mode has all like the choices and the story and stuff like that. And it's a, it's a roguelite, yeah. Awesome stuff. Thanks so much to uh, the devs for sponsoring today's stream and uh, Dead Good Media as well. Um, type hashtag game. Get the link. Support our sponsor today by uh, favoriting it, wishlisting it, uh, or buying it. And if you bought it today and we didn't already tally it, please let me know uh, in the chat. I'd like to give them a um, an informal tally of how many game purchases there were. Uh, I'm showing six. So thank you so much to everybody who uh, purchased the game. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. And come back and let me you know um, what you think of it after you play.